Hi, the beautiful natural typewriter effect you will learn to create today in PowerPoint looks like this. You can see that we have made some mistakes and we are correcting it as we go along. And when we make the mistakes, it takes a little bit of time to think about it and it gives you the final result of searching for a certain phrase. If you were to apply appear animation to a word like this and let the animation happen letter by letter and you apply typewriter sound effect, then the result would look like this. Now, even though this looks good, it is not natural. Can you see? This is not the way you type. Now, compare that animation to this one. Can you see here? This is the way actual typewriting effect should look. So how did I create the animation that I showed you at the start of this video? I used the power of transitions and not animation. And that is where the difference lies. When you use transitions instead of custom animation, you get a lot of freedom to create the variations you want. You can show that somebody is typing something wrong, thinking and then is changing whatever that has been typed. There are so many interesting things you can do. So let me show you how to create this realistic effect from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide in a new presentation. First, let us create the shell that allows us to perform the search. Let me go to Auto Shapes Gallery. Here I see rounded rectangle. You can find that under rectangles. Let us pick this up. Hold the shift button down and draw something as big as this so that we are able to have full curvature. Select this yellow handle and then move it to the right. So that gives you this full curvature and then reduce the size like so. This will accommodate the text inside it. Now let us take another copy of this and let us cut this somewhere over here. Now go to the rectangle tool so you can cut the shape. So let me draw something like this leaving just about this space out. Let me select this, hold the shift button down and select this rectangle and then go to shape subtract. Now you can find that under shape format, merge shapes, you will be able to find shape subtract. Now this we are going to give black color and we are going to place this right on top of the previous one and let us select everything and give this shape outline, no outline. Now let us give this one white color with a dark outline. Now this is the base shape. Now, if you want to add a search icon here, you can always go to insert, go to icons and you can always find the magnifier icon or the search icon. Let me use search and I would be able to find something like this or I can use something like this and I can insert. Let us adjust the size so it fits in quite nicely here and then let us change the graphics fill to white. Now, all these are the basic things so that you're able to create a realistic looking effect. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to have a blinking cursor. So that is how it all starts. So let us go to the Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the line tool, hold the shift button down and draw a vertical line. And this is going to mimic our cursor. Let us right click, go to Format Shape. So you're able to make the adjustments to the lines here. Give this six point width. You can also of course do that in shape outline, go to weight and give it six points width and let us go to shape outline and give it black color. Now the issue here is you can see that there is this abrupt square ending. We want to have that rounded so it looks more natural. For that let us select this and as I told you we go to this format shape option. In the lines one we are going to change the cap type to round and you can also change the join type to round as well. Now this one looks more like the cursor and let us place this over here. So this is going to blink first. So how do we make it blink? We are going to select this, go to animations and let us have a simple fade animation and this happens for 0.5 seconds and let us go to the animation pane, go here, open the effect options and go to timing and say repeat three times and you say okay. So this is how it blinks for a few seconds. Now it is time to apply transitions. So let us go to transitions. 
go here and say after you don't really require to advance slide on mouse click so you can just uncheck that and here you say 0.25 seconds and hit enter so automatically the slide will go to the next slide after 0.25 seconds now when we duplicate this all the slides will have the same transition let us right click and say duplicate slide now here on the second slide we don't want it to blink three times so we need to change this animation so let us go to animations once again select this and change this to emphasis transition so let us select this go here and go to emphasis and let that have a pulse animation and this need not repeat itself so let us go to effect options and whatever repeat that we had earlier we'll say none and say okay so this is the blinking that is happening and that pulsating effect is going to give this a realistic look and feel now while we are at this we are going to insert a text box now let us go to home go to the auto shapes gallery pick up the text box tool and let us give the size of the text box so this is going to be the full size since i'm only going to write just this much of text this is good enough for me let us go here and let us make some changes you can see that the right side of this text box aligns with this line that i have here which is the cursor now let us have this align to the right then let us write the first character which is r because i am going to write my name here let us increase the size of this so let us increase this if you are interested you can of course always use a typewritten font there are quite a few available you can also download some from the net the one that i am going to use is consolas so select that and consolas is the font and now we have our first character appear when i go to the first slide go to slide show and then you can see that it has blinked three times and it has immediately gone to the next slide and has shown r then i need to right click and duplicate the slide and here i am going to type a then let me duplicate this slide and write m then duplicate and here i am going to make a mistake instead of ram gopal let us write say ram bopal so let us assume that here the person has written b now that is what will appear now let us duplicate this slide and here the person still thinks whether it is ram gopal or ram bopal so we are not going to do any change at this point we are going to let 0.25 seconds go through then right click and duplicate slide and here the person is going to hit backspace then let us right click go to duplicate slide and then write g which is the right one and then right click duplicate slide and continue to write the rest of the stuff like say o and i am going to right click duplicate slide and write p no doubt this is going to take a little bit of time but the result that you are going to get is definitely beautiful and your audience will be surprised at what you have come up with now here i have finished writing my name i forgot to add the typewriter sound so you can always go to transitions go to sound and you say typewriter sound you go here this is the typewriter sound and let us say apply to all because this needs to happen right from the first one itself so let us go to the first slide and let us see how this whole thing plays i go to slide show so that is how the animation happens so you can create an effect like this and use it at the start of your presentation or before revealing a brand name or you can use this effect in any of those special situations where you really want the audience to pay attention to what you've got on screen of course once you've got this made you can make this into a video and store it as a video clip so you can use it whenever you want in the meantime do you want to learn some simple and creative powerpoint ideas you can use in your next presentation then click on the link here to join our 5 day free email course called 25 creative powerpoint ideas these are simple quick and useful powerpoint ideas i have not shared elsewhere so go ahead click on the link join the course and i will see you inside